on the beach at night. On the beach at night stands a child with her father, watching the east, the autumn sky. Up through the darkness, while ravening clouds, the burial clouds, in black masses spreading, lower sullen and fast, athwart and down the sky. Amid a transparent clear belt of either yet left in the east, ascends large and calm the Lord Star Jupiter, and nigh at hand, only a very little above, swim the delicate sisters, the Pleiades. From the beach, the child holding the hand of her father, those burial clouds that lower victorious, soon to devour all, watching, silently weeps. Weep not, child, weep not, my darling, with these kisses let me remove your tears. The ravening clouds shall not long be victorious. They shall not long possess the sky. They devour the stars only in apparition. Jupiter shall emerge. Be patient. Watch again another night. The Pleiades shall emerge. They are immortal, all those stars, both silvery and golden, shall shine out again. The great stars and the little ones shall shine out again, they endure. The vast immortal suns and the long enduring pensive moons shall again shine. Then, dearest child, mournest thou only for Jupiter? Considerest thou alone the burial of the stars? Something there is, with my lips soothing thee, adding, I whisper. I give thee the first suggestion, the problem and indirection. Something there is more immortal even than the stars. Many the burials, many the days and nights passing away. Something that shall endure longer even than lustrous Jupiter, longer than sun or any revolving satellite or the Radiant Sisters, the Pleiades. When I heard the learned astronomer, when I heard the learned astronomer, when the proofs, the figures, were ranged in columns before me, when I was shown the charts and diagrams to add, divide, and measure them, when I sitting heard the astronomer where he lectured with much applause in the lecture room. How soon unaccountable I became tired and sick till rising and gliding out 
I wandered off by myself in the mystical, moist night air, and from time to time looked up in perfect silence at the stars. Clear midnight. This is thy hour, O soul, thy free flight into the wordless, away from books, away from art, the day erased, the lesson done. Be fully forth emerging, silent, gazing, pondering the themes thou lovest best, night, sleep, death, and the stars. After the dazzle of day is gone, after the dazzle of day is gone, only the dark, dark night shows to my eyes the stars. After the clangor of organ majestic or chorus or perfect band, silent, athwart my soul, moves the symphony true. prairie sunset, shot gold, maroon, and violet, dazzling silver, emerald, fawn, the earth's whole amplitude and nature's multiform power, consigned for once to colors, the light the general air possessed by them, colors till now unknown, no limit confined, not the western sky alone, the high meridian, north, south, all, pure luminous colors fighting the silent shadows to the last. Twilight, 
the soft, voluptuous opiate shades. The sun just gone, the eager light dispelled. I too will soon be gone, dispelled. A haze, nirvana, rest in night, oblivion. Out of the cradle, endlessly rocking. Out of the cradle, endlessly rocking. Out of the mockingbird's throat, the musical shuttle. Out of the ninth month midnight. Over the sterile sands and the fields beyond, where the child leaving his bed, wandered alone, bareheaded, barefoot, down from the showered halo, up from the mystic play of shadows, twining and twisting as if they were alive, out from the patches of briars and blackberries, from the memories of the bird that chanted to me. From your memories, sad brother. From the fitful risings and fallings I heard. From under that yellow half moon, late risen and swollen as if with tears. From those beginning notes of yearning and love there in the mist. From the thousand responses of my heart never to cease. From the myriad thence aroused words. From the word stronger and more delicious than any. From such as now they start the scene revisiting. As a flock twittering, rising, or overhead passing. Born hither, ere all eludes me, hurriedly. A man, yet by these tears, a little boy again, throwing myself on the sand, confronting the waves. I, chanter of pains and joys, uniter of here and hereafter taking all hints to use them, but swiftly leaping beyond them, a reminiscence sing. Once Palmanach, when the lilac scent was in the air and fifth month grass was growing, up this seashore in some briars, two feathered guests from Alabama two together, and their nest, and four light green eggs spotted with brown. And every day, the he-bird to and fro near at hand. And every day, the she-bird crouched on her nest, silent with bright eyes. And every day, I a curious boy, never too close, never disturbing them, cautiously peering, absorbing, translating. Shine, 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 pour down your warmth, great sun, while we bask, we two together, two together. Winds blow south or winds blow north, 
day comes white or night comes black, home or rivers and mountains from home, singing all time, minding no time, while we two keep together, till all of a sudden may be killed unknown to her mate, one foreigner the sheepherd crouched, not on the nest, nor returned that afternoon, nor the next, nor ever appeared again. And thenceforward, all summer in the sound of the sea, and at night under the full of the moon in calmer weather, over the hoarse surging of the sea, or flitting from briar to briar by day, I saw, I heard at intervals, the remaining one, the he bird, the solitary guest from Alabama. Blow, blow, blow. Blow up sea winds along Omana shore. I wait and I wait till you blow my mate to me. Yes, when the stars glistened all night long on the prong of a moss scallop stake, down almost amid the slapping waves, sat the lone singer, wonderful causing tears. He called on his mate. He poured forth the meanings which I, of all men, know. Yes, my brother, I know. The rest might not, but I have treasured every note. For more than once, dimly down to the beach gliding, silent, avoiding the moonbeams, Blending myself with the shadows, recalling now the obscure shapes, the echoes, the sounds and sights after their sorts. The white arms out in the breakers tirelessly tossing, I with bare feet, a child, the wind wafting my hair, listened long and long, listen to keep, to sing, now translating the notes, following you, my brother, soothe, 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 close on its wave, soothes the wave behind, and again another, behind embracing and lapping, everyone close, but my love soothes not me, not me. Low hangs the moon, it rose late, it is lagging. Oh, I think it is heavy with love, with love. Oh, madly the sea pushes upon the land with love with love. O oh, night, do I not see my love fluttering out among the breakers? What is that little black thing I see there in the white? Loud, 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 loud I call to you, my love. High and clear I shoot my voice over the waves. Surely you must know who is here, is here. You must know who I am, my love. Low-hanging moon, what is that dusky spot in your brown-yellow? Oh, it is the shape, the shape of my mate. Oh, moon, do not keep her from me any longer. Land land, oh land, 
Whichever way I turn, oh, I think you could give me my mate back again, if you only would, for I am almost sure I see her dimly, whichever way I look. Oh, rising stars, perhaps the one I want so much will rise, will rise with some of you. Oh, throat, oh, trembling throat, sound clearer through the atmosphere, pierce the woods, the earth, somewhere listening to catch, you must be the one I want. Shake out carols, solitary hear the night's carols, carols of lonesome love, death's carols, carols under that lagging yellow waning moon, oh under that moon where she droops almost down into the sea, oh reckless despairing carols, but soft, sink low, soft, let me just murmur, and do you wait a moment? you husky noise see, for somewhere I believe I heard my mate responding to me, so faint I must be still, be still to listen. But not altogether still, for then she might not come immediately to me. Hither, my love, here I am, here. With this just sustained note, I announce myself to you. This gentle call is for you, my love, for you. Do not be decoyed elsewhere. That is the whistle of the wind. It is not my voice. That is the fluttering the fluttering of the spray, those are the shadows of leaves. O oh, darkness, O oh, in vain, I am very sick and sorrowful. O oh, brown halo in the sky near the moon, drooping upon the sea, O oh, troubled reflection in the sea. O oh, throat, O oh, throbbing heart, and I singing uselessly, uselessly, all the night. O oh, past, O oh, happy life, O oh, songs of joy, in the air, in the woods, over fields, loved, 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 loved. But my mate no more, no more with me, we two together no more. The aria is sinking, all else continuing, the stars shining, the winds blowing, the notes of the bird continuous echoing, with angry moans the fierce old mother incessantly moaning. On the sands of Palmenup shore, gray and rustling, the yellow half moon enlarged, sagging down, drooping, the face of the sea almost touching, the boy ecstatic with his bare feet, the waves, with his hair, the atmosphere dallying, the love in the heart long pent now loose, now at last tumultuously bursting, the aria's meaning, the ears, the soul, swiftly depositing, the strange tears down the cheeks coursing, the colloquy there, the trio each uttering, the undertone, the savage old mother incessantly crying, to the boy's soul's questions sullenly timing, 
some drowned secret hissing to the outsetting bard. Demon or bird, said the boy's soul, it is indeed toward your mate you sing, or is it really to me? For I that was a child, my tongue's use sleeping, now I have heard you, now in a moment I know what I am for. I awake, and already a thousand singers, a thousand songs clearer, louder, and more sorrowful than yours. A thousand warbling echoes have started to life within me, never to die. O oh, you singer solitary, singing by yourself, projecting me, O oh, solitary me listening, never more shall I cease perpetuating you. Never more shall I escape, never more the reverberations, never more the cries of unsatisfied love be absent from me. Never again leave me to be peaceful, a child I was before. What there in the night? By the sea, under the yellow and sagging moon, the messenger there aroused, the fire, the sweet hell within, the unknown want, the destiny of me. Oh, give me the clue. It lurks in the night here somewhere. Oh, if I am to have so much, let me have more. A word then, for I will conquer it. The word final, superior to all, subtle, sent up. What is it? I listen. Are you whispering it and have been all the time, you sea waves? Is that it from your liquid rims and wet sands? Where to answering the sea, delaying not, hurrying not, whispered me through the night and very plainly before daybreak, lisp to me the low and delicious word, death. And again, death, death, death. Death, hissing melodious, neither like bird nor like my aroused child's heart, but edging near as privately for me rustling at my feet, creeping then steadily up to my ears and laving me softly all over. Death, death. Death, 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 which I do not forget, but fuse the song of my dusky demon and brother that he sang to me in the moonlight on Pominok's gray beach with a thousand responsive songs at random, my own songs awaked from that hour and with them the key, the word up from the waves, the word of the sweetest song and all songs, that strong and delicious word, which, creeping to my feet, were like some old crone rocking the cradle, swathed in sweet garments, bending aside. The sea whispered me,